I'm Brent McHale. I'm a horticulturist here at the gardens and this year I am the Gardens Glow designer and I've helped to oversee the design of all 650,000 lights. In regards to colors, um, I kind of took each strand of lights and took it home, placed them next to each other. So what looked good together, what combinations were good, and obviously opposites work well together, opposite ends of the color wheel work well together, so those are easier pairings. Taking notes from year to year, like, okay, that combination looks phenomenal, like, we need to replicate that more, um, and like, that combination maybe doesn't look so good, but maybe if we tried this other color, that might look better. So it's a lot of trial and error. Colors playing a role in this year's theme. So we have the four different themed areas, and so I have four different color schemes um, for those areas. I do have to say it is much, much easier working with cooler colors. All of them go very well together and they blend with the warmer colors much better, like the reds, the yellows, the hot pinks, and things like that. So this year I did the main woods area off of a purple, aqua, and yellow color scheme and tucked in some whites and things. Um, but that's the overall four colors for that area. And then working into the underwater world area, we kind of have mostly blues, aquas, whites, the cooler underwater-y colors, but there's only so many cool underwater colors, so we tucked in a couple different kinds of whites and tried to give it some more movement. Getting into the meadowy area, I tried to do like bright, colorful, like wildflower meadow and use lots of more of our reds and hot pinks and yellows and oranges. And like moving on to the wetland area, we did lots of blues and purples and greens and aquas and just very soothing cool colors and then all of the animals are very bright and so they kind of really pop and it just highlights all of those very well. Another um, very hard part of it is the sight lines. So with the very tall trees that you can see from many different points of the gardens, those trees you don't want to do and the very hot colors because then when you're in a cooler color area and you can see them, it just interrupts the view of that. I'd say my favorite color combination is probably the purple, aqua, and yellow, um, which is we have on a couple trees around the pond. Kind of a color that, or color combination that we've created ourselves and our designer last year, she actually used it on one of the trees and I took a picture of it because of how amazing it looked. And so I used that as my inspiration for the pond garden um, section this year and did lots of different plays on those three colors. Uh, funny enough, my favorite color is orange, but orange is probably one of the hardest colors to use in a holiday light show because everyone just immediately thinks Halloween. It doesn't blend that well with other colors. Um, one good place it has been really amazing is on all of the mushrooms though. So all of the mushrooms, we have many, many orange and yellow ones and those two colors look great on all of those.